Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to start with chapter 11, Hebler statics related to the virtual work. And this is the first problem. And the problem says that use the method of virtual work to determine the tension in cable AC. The weight of the lamp is 10 pounds. So this is the weight the lamp which has a weight of 10 pounds and we are asked to find the tension in this ac using the method of virtual work so in order to use the method of virtual work what we need to do is that we need to give some virtual displacement we need to think uh, in our head that there is some virtual displacement and that virtual displacement is is to be traveled by this point A since we have the weight acting at point A and the tension in AC is also acting like this and the tension in BC will be acting like this. So in our head, we will think of some uh, virtual displacement traveled by this point A. And in order to have some virtual displacement, either we need to cut this rope or either we need to cut this rope. So the thumb rule is we we are required to find the tension in this ac rope so what we need to do is that we need to cut this rope uh, in order to expose that tension so now in our head if we cut this rope what will happen is that this point a will cover some distance and this b this b a uh, or we can say this a b chain or cable will will cover some angular displacement like this it will cover some angle a d theta and what will happen is that this point a will travel some distance both in the horizontal and in the vertical direction so now let's say that the new position of this point a is let's say somewhere here and that new position is a dash so if i join this a dash with b now this will be the the same uh a b rope and here we will have if if we have cut this rope so we will have the tension like this this will be if we cut that a c rope then this will be t a c so now what will happen is that when this point a travels some distance so then this 10 pound which is the weight of this lamp will act at a dash so it will act somewhere here so now let me show that weight uh, somewhere here like this so we will have that same 10 pound weight here and we need to define the position of this tac and this 10 pound force from that point b from some reference and we need to select a reference which is stationary right so from point b we can say that the initial position of this 10 pound force is at a distance of xa let's say so this distance is xa and in the positive direction the sense of xa uh, in the towards the right xa has a positive sense so this is xa like this right so the distance of this point a from point b towards the right is positive xa and now as we can see that this a dash has traveled some distance in the negative direction of xa so that small distance traveled is delta x dash uh, delta xa right so we can say that this small distance this small distance which is covered in the negative xa is delta xa and similarly the distance of this point a from point b in the vertical direction is ya let's say so we will represent that distance as well so this is this distance is uh, y a and the, the change in the position of a in the y direction right so this distance traveled since this this was the initial position of point a and this is the point, final position of this a dash after traveling some distance after giving some small angle theta to a b cable so it covers some vertical distance as well and that vertical distance is we can say this is delta y a so let's represent that delta y a as well so this distance is delta y a 
So now we need to apply the method of virtual work. So since the system is in equilibrium, so delta u a this must be equals to zero. And since this uh, a b cable is making forty five degree angle, so if this is forty five degree angle, and if we draw a line here, so this is the same that forty five degree angle. So now let's say that somewhere here is that angle theta. We represent this forty five degree angle by angle theta here. So if this a b rope is making some angle theta, and if we give it some small angular displacement d theta. delta theta so what will happen is that this point a will travel a distance in a horizontal direction and a distance in a vertical direction which are represented by delta x a and delta y a so now as we can see that uh, both this weight and tac do some work at point a and we can see that this tac the tension in this rope ac is making angle 30 so we can represent that angle 30 here as well this is that angle 30 and we can resolve this tac into two components so we will have one component of tac so this one will be the cos component and we will have one component like this and this one will be the sine component so this one is the cos component of tac and this one is the sine component p cos of 30 degrees into delta x a and if you guys think that if there is distance travel in the y direction so t a c cos of 30 into delta y a this will become zero since uh, this this component is in the horizontal direction and the dis the delta y a is the distance traveled in the in the vertical direction which is this delta y a is making 90 degrees with this cos component force performs the work uh, always in the direction of the displacement traveled so if the displacement and the component of the force or the force itself is making 90 degrees so then that force cannot uh, produce any work so then so this cos component this delta y a they are making uh, 90 degree to each other so they are not doing any work in the vertical direction so so this component is doing work in the horizontal direction and this component is only doing work in the vertical direction so then we can write that plus t a c this is t a c sine of 30 into delta y a and then plus that weight 10 pound into delta y a this must be equals to zero so now we need to write this x a and this y a in terms of this theta so we can write that x a is equal to so let's say that the length of this cable a b is l so that will be l let me write it here this is l let's see x a will be if we consider this right angle triangle then x a is this l cos of theta so if we consider this triangle and this is that l this is that theta so this is l cos of theta which is x a so we can write that x a is l cos of theta and if we apply del x a by del theta then this will be l minus sine of theta and if we multiply both sides of equation by del theta so del x a will be equal to minus l sine of theta del theta so delta x a comes out to be negative and the negative sign tells us that the the virtual displacement in the horizontal direction traveled by point a is in the negative sense of x a so x towards the right x a is positive and since delta x a is traveled in the negative sense so here we got minus sign similarly we can write y a so again if we consider that uh, right angle triangle so then this is y a this side is y a so so we can say that this is theta and this is l so this is the sine component so y a is l sine of theta and again if we take the derivative with respect to del theta so this will be l cos of theta and del theta 
uh, sorry, this will be L cos of theta. And if we multiply both sides with del theta, so then we will have del y a equals to L cos of theta del theta. So this is del x a and this is del y a. So now we need to put this and this in this equation and we will be able to find TAC. So this is TAC cos of 30 degrees and del x a is minus L sine of theta del theta from here plus TAC sine of 30 degrees del y a is L cos of theta del theta plus 10 del y a is again L cos of theta del theta this is equal to 0. Here in the second term as we can see that um, the TAC sine of 30 it is acting in the upward direction and del y a is covered in the downward direction that is in the positive sense and TAC is acting in the upward direction that is in the negative sense of y a so then this work done by the sine component is negative so we need to put minus sign here now so here i have considered all the works only and now here since tac sine company is producing negative work so this positive sign needs to be negative so we will write it here as minus and now in these three terms we have uh, l del theta common so we can write it like this this will be minus tac cos of 30 sine of theta l del theta and again here we will have minus um, tac sine of 30 cos of theta into l del theta and plus 10 cos of theta into l del theta equals to zero and now in these three terms now l del theta is common so we can write minus tac cos of 30 degree sine of theta minus tac sine of 30 cos of theta and plus 10 cos of theta into l del theta equals to zero now as we know that the L times del theta this cannot be equals to zero since we have given some virtual displacement so that virtual displacement cannot be equals to zero and this L cannot be equals to zero so the product of this cannot be equals to zero so everything in the brackets is equals to zero if this delta u is equals to zero the work done at point A is equals to zero so then we can say that minus TAC cos of 30 degrees sine of theta minus TAC sine of 30 cos of theta plus 10 cos of theta equals to 0. Since we want to find TAC, we can take uh, T minus TAC common from both of these terms. So we can write minus TAC cos of 30 sine of theta plus sine of 30 cos of theta and if we bring this to the other side of the equation it will become minus minus sine will cancel out so we can say that TAC this will be equal to 10 cos of theta divided by cos of 30 sine of theta sine of 30 cos of theta now we want to find TAC for equilibrium right since this whole mechanism since this whole system is in equilibrium and since we have considered this theta this is that same theta and that theta in the problem statement is given as 45 degrees so for 45 degrees we need to find the tension in this uh, cable ac so now this is the equation for tac and which is in terms of the theta <clears throat> so we need to put theta equals to 45 degrees so for theta equals 45 degrees we were required to find tac so tac is 10 cos of 45 divided by cos of 30 
sine of 45 plus sine of 30 cos of 45. <clears throat> so this is equal to so TAC the tension in cable AC comes out to be 7.32 pounds. So for equilibrium the tension need to be uh, 7.32 in this cable AC if we have uh, angle 45 degree here and angle 30 here and the weight of the lamp is 10 pounds so this is how we can find the tension in cable AC using the uh, virtual work method so I hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from chapter 11 Hibbler statics related to the virtual work